Hi, my name is Amar. In this video, I will discuss how to find out the latitude and longitude and how to find out the address based on that latitude and longitude in Flutter using GetX. Here, I have created this project by using the GetCLI tool. After creating the project in the pubspec.yml file, I have taken two dependencies. The first one is the geolocator and the second one is the geocoding. The geolocator package will be used to find out the latitude and longitude and geocoding will be used to find out the address based on that latitude and longitude. Now to use this geolocator and geocoding we need to do some configuration setting. What configuration setting we need to do that you can find out from that particular website. Let me move to geolocator. Here you can see this is the plugin and what configuration is needed for android first of all it must have android x and in the build.gradle file the version compile sdk version should be 31 okay and we need to add these two permissions access find location and access course location okay and if you want to retrieve the location in background then we need to add this permission okay remember this plugin does not allow to uh, retrieve the location while the app is in the background okay and for iOS you can find out the setting from here okay for Mac OS we have this and for web we can find out the setting from here okay now let me move to Android let me move to app build.gradle here you can see I have changed the compile SDK version to 31 as per the plugin requirement and in src main android manifest.xml here i have given these two permissions right now i will write the code to retrieve the location and to write the code let me switch to the home controller in the home controller here inside the controller i will declare some variables actually reactive variables the first variable will be latitude equals to I will in initialize it with a value getting latitude dot OBS okay similarly let me paste it here and I will change this variable name to longitude and here let me copy paste it it will be longitude and this variable will be address and I will change it to address right now after de declaring these variables here we need to add some permission to retrieve the location here you can see in the on init method I have called this get location method which I have created here right and this get location method has been declared as async inside this function I have written this code to retrieve the or to get the permission from the user here you can see I have declared a variable bool service enabled there is a class location permission which is provided by that uh, plugin which I have taken here that is geolocator right and here you can see service enabled equals to await geolocator dot is location service enabled it is checking whether the location service is enabled or not if it is not enabled then it will open that location setting from where we can enable the location service right after that here I have written permission equals to await geolocator dot check permission it is checking the permission and if permission equals to equals to location permission dot denied then it will request for the permission okay and if the permission is denied then it will return okay and if the permission is denied forever then this message will be there right and if all the permissions are granted then here we need to write the code to retrieve the location right and to retrieve the location here I will use let stream subscription of type position okay stream subscription now with the help of this stream subscription we can retrieve the location continuously okay 
now here i have used let because i will initialize it later on now once the permission is granted here i will write the code here i will write a stream subscription equals to geolocator geolocator dot get you can see different methods get current position is used to retrieve the current position get last known position get location okay see these methods are there here i will use get position stream fine get position stream dot after that i will use the sorry after that i will use the listen method and here i will pass position right now here i need to put a semicolon here i will write latitude dot value equals to latitude then position dot latitude in this position we have the latitude and the longitude fine now let me put a curly braces here put a semicolon let me copy this paste it here now this will be longitude dot value and i will change it to longitude and this will also be longitude right now after getting this latitude and longitude based on that i need to find out the address right now to find out the address here let me call a method get get address from latlang and this method i will create later on here i will pass the position fine now i need to create this method so here i will create the method future of void future of void after that the method name right and this method will obviously take position i will declare this method as async fine now here i will use list of place mark okay now this place mark is provided by that plugin geocoder sorry geocoding fine now list of place mark let me give the object name as place mark equals to await place mark from coordinates after that here i need to pass the latitude and longitude now that latitude and longitude is stored in position fine so here i can pass position dot latitude position dot longitude right or what you can do you can directly pass this latitude and longitude to this method which you can use inside this get address from latlang method fine okay now here i will use place mark place mark place equals to place mark of 0 from the zero because this place mark was a list now from the zeroth position i am retrieving the place mark fine and after that i am using address that address variable reactive variable i have created here address dot value equals to address now here i can use this place dot now it contains different methods different properties you can see administrative area country locality name postal code street sub locality all these properties are there you can use as per your requirement here i am using locality fine after that i will put a comma and 
डॉलर प्लेस डॉट आई विल यूज कंट्री फाइन सो आई हैव रिट्रीव द लैटीट्यूड एंड लॉन्गिट्यूड एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट लैटीट्यूड एंड लॉन्गिट्यूड आई हैव रिट्रीव द एड्रेस फाइन नाउ लेट मी मूव टू द होम व्यू पार्ट इन द होम व्यू पार्ट यू कैन सी दिस इज अ होम व्यू विच इज एक्सटेंडिंग गेट व्यू एंड टेकिंग द होम कंट्रोलर टाइप फॉर दिस इज कैपफुल आई हैव गिवन दिस बैकग्राउंड कलर इन द बॉडी आई हैव टेकन अ सेंटर विजिट एंड एज अ चाइल्ड ऑफ द सेंटर विजिट आई हैव टेकन अ पैडिंग विजिट and i have given a padding of 16 from all sides then i have a column widget here i have set these properties to center then in the children i have taken this icon widget in the icon i have given the icon as location on for this icon i have given the color as yellow and i have given the size as 40 fine after that there is a sized box then i have used a text widget and in the text i have specified user location and i have given a style for this particular text nothing to explain here right After that, there is a size box. Now I have taken a OBX widget. Fine. In the OBX widget, I have taken a text widget, and in this text widget, I have used controller dot latitude dot value. So whatever be the latitude value that will be displayed inside this text widget, and for this text, I have used this style. Fine. Then we have again a size box. Again, I have taken a OBX widget. Inside this OBX, there is a text widget where I am using this longitude. Fine. after that there is a sized box and again i have used this obx widget where i am using the address fine now let me run the project now let me show you the output now once i run the project then you can see the location is not enabled that's why it has opened the location setting page fine now let me enable the location now it is asking for the permission now once i allow this permission then you can see the latitude longitude and the address is displayed now here you can do one more thing in the home controller in the on close method once it is on closed then here i can call the cancel method oh okay i hope you have enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching